Good morning, good morning. Back on the trail, Marmalade here. What is up, everybody? Uh, before I tell you what I'm doing, guess who I have with me? No way! A distinguished guest. What's your name? Where? <laughs> I'm with the Hiking Rev. Say hey to all your... A distinguished guest? A uh, stinky guest. Stinky guest. But man, this is going to be an awesome trip. We've been looking forward to this. It's kind of a little pack shake down. Yeah. Get some miles on our legs because we got other news coming up in about a month. We'll tell you later. But uh, today we're doing, this will be my fourth time doing this loop. We are in the Sierra. It's you your think first. You're tired of it after a little while. <laughs> no, this will be my go to. But you're first, right? Yeah, you're this first, is my first year. First time on this loop. Yes. So uh, for me, it's the most beauty in a chalked into 25 miles you can get out here but I haven't done everything so who knows but we started at Mammoth and real quick I drove up here let me show you a couple clips uh, I drove up here yesterday from San Diego area uh, so we came up yesterday to get prepared and uh, had that uh, beautiful hotel <laughs> wasn't that beautiful yes I love the swimming pool <laughs> yeah yeah check out the swimming pool and then we went and got some food got some pizza pie last night so that was good. Some onion rings. So that was really good. And uh, then we headed up <laughs> how they're doing it now. They've changed some of the rules up here. But uh, I used to drive down to Agni Meadow, But we basically parked at uh, Mammoth Ski Resort and caught the bus down to Agni Meadow. So that's our plan. And we'll catch it on the way back. So what are we doing? I'm going to keep this short. But uh, it's three days and two nights. And we're going to not do big miles on purpose. Uh, each day is around eight miles. And I'll, I'll give you the elevation each day separately. But yeah, we're going to do eight miles up to Thousand Island Lake tonight. Tomorrow, about eight miles up to Dizel Lake. And the next day, uh, eight, roughly eight more miles to the car. In fact, or not to the car, but to the parking lot. So uh, the date is, what is the date? June 19, 2020. Yep. So June it's a Sunday, 18. and it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Ref. Oh, thank you. Happy Father's Day to you, too. Thank you. Marma. Marmalade. And Cam, sorry I missed the Father's Day, but I'll catch up with you in a few days when I get back. We'll, we'll celebrate for sure. But that's about it. We're going to show you this trail. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be around the high of 50 today and down to freezing tonight, 32. But then the next two days are going to be at 10 degrees warmer, around 60, and around 38, 40 degrees at night. So it's, it's breaking into summer now. All right, we'll see you guys down the trail. Bye.
Good morning, good morning. Day two of our three day adventure. How's it going? There's the man, the myth, the legend back there. What's up? Hey, hey. So we are started, as you can see. We left about 8.45 or so. It's kind of nice not through hiking, huh? Having a rest. Yes. Yes, but uh, real quick yesterday, it worked out well. I can tell I'm not in shape. But we did about almost 2,500 feet over eight miles. Mostly kind of towards the end, right? Yes. It was most of the climb was towards the end. Yeah. Uh, mosquitoes are horrendous out here right now. Yes. We got lucky, we found uh, two spots I showed you in the video. And the mosquitoes were not bad at all. But uh, had a good night last night. At condensation, it got down to 34. It's supposed to be 32, so that's a bonus, I guess. So, good night. Uh, we'll dry out our tents when we get to camp. But today is another eight mile section. We're gonna do it leisurely, try to show it to you pretty well. Oh man, look at this major river crossing. You see this, you guys? Pull the boat out. Right there, it's really shallow. But <laughs> where's the boat? So I'll try to do this and talk to you, but uh, today is eight miles, but we're going through the Gem Lakes right now, which is like Emerald, Ruby, and Garnet Lake. Oh, and my feet wet. Oh man, we gotta go back home now. <laughs> so uh, we'll do those Gem Lakes, and then we're gonna go up to Ediza Lake, which is amazing. So can't wait to show you that. And this is all new for my man here. It's all new. It's beautiful, so. it's fantastic. Yeah, we've had an amazing time so far. It's been really great. And lots of people out here. And weirdly, lots of dogs. So. That's it for now. I'm tuning out. Say bye to all your fans. Later. <laughs> bye.
Hey baby, went across that. You did it, buddy. There you go. We did it. Good several years off my life. All right, so we found a couple good campsites. You can see the res tent there. Beautiful spot. You can kind of see mine down there, but let's show it to you. We're on two different little ledges. There's tons of spots. We're above the lake. The west side of the lake. Yeah, so this will be our spot for tonight. Really nice. Now, time for dinner. Well, good morning, good morning. Day three. Last day, right? That's right. Wait, you know what that means, right? Uh, town day. <laughs> <laughs> it's town day. Town day. We've only been out here three days, and uh, we're thinking about food. But, uh, yeah, man, what an amazing place to have at Dyes Lake, isn't it, you guys? What do yeah. you think, huh, for your first time? Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I slipped and fell in the water. got hurt, hurt my leg, but not enough to... Well, one thing I've learned out, and I think I'm pretty tough. Another one bites the dust. Uh, Good night. Man, the rocks all got wet and slick as ice, right? Yep, slip it, slick as snot. <laughs> it's not that too. But yeah, I got wet and hurt my pride more than anything. But well, we got about eight miles down to the, the shuttle bus, and then uh, when you when you pay the money to get a ride down to goes down to Agnew Meadows where we are, and then also Red's Meadow and all that, and Devil's Post Pile. It, it, it includes a return trip, so. That's our plan, all mostly downhill today, cruising. Uh, we're gonna, we left the guys as you saw, and then we're going by uh, Shadow Creek, the Shadow Lake, and down this huge stone staircase. We're gonna get our Stairmaster in today, brother. <laughs> anyway, it's been- have to go to the gym today, huh? No. So great campsite, didn't get that cold last night, so it was really nice. And we started, what time did we start, 5.45? Yeah, yeah, before yeah. 6. We're trying to, I wanted to see, you know, it's fun to film when that sun was coming up on those mountains as you saw behind the, the lake, but also uh, uh, we want to get back to town and maybe have time to get some food before we split, you know, split ways. So that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoy the rest of this. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
probably about half a mile from the bus. So, you know, definitely watch it in. We'll have a little bit for you, but what an amazing trip, wasn't it? Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it was just amazing. So, that was my fourth time doing it. Got a little banged up, but all worth it for sure. I'd rather be out here than doing anything. So, uh, anyway, yeah, write me, tell me what you think. Have you done the loop? Uh, I'm gonna have to eventually do it the other direction one day. <laughs> Four times counterclockwise, but uh, it was a great trip. We had perfect weather, really. Chilly at night, the bugs are getting bad though, so uh, I'm glad we're done. <laughs> but overall, it was an amazing trip, and one for the books. All right, let's finish this off, all right? <laughs>